Hey, real quick, I'm looking for the property owner that had the house for sale off. Yeah, but uh, nobody gave me a good price. I want to, uh, why you like, uh, how much you buy it? Oh, what I think I heard you say though, you got four listings in your first two months. Yeah. Dude, that's phenomenal. So where did the, where did you get the business from? Um, so one was a uh, past expired. Nice. One was, a, one was a FISBO. And then uh, the other two were company generated. So, nice. Yeah. yeah, that's great. That's great. So what, what big challenges do you feel like are really, really getting in your way from where you are now into where you want to go? Well, the last week or two have been kind of rough. Um, I went through a breakup and kind of in a place to, I need to find somewhere to live and just kind of a lot going on. So I've kind of, I feel like I lost connection with my why. Absolutely. And I think I'm starting to connect again. So, <laughs> well, well, that's good, man. I mean, I think that the way out of that, right? Obviously, you're going through some stuff personally, but the way out of that is probably through getting lost in your work, right? Mm -hmm. And really focusing on that because I bet you if you had a bunch of money, it would help things. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. So, that's so, so why don't we do that? Why don't we? So, what leads do you want to get into calling this morning? Um, I, since it's the first, we have 26 expireds. Perfect. So let's focus on expireds this morning. And so what I want you to do, Brennan, is just call like normal. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be a fly on the wall. And then when I see opportunities for you to do something better, I'll have you, are you going to hand dial or are you going to be in a dialer? I'll be in Mojo. All right, cool. Yeah. So I may have you pause it from time to time cool. so that we can talk through and give you some feedback. Okay. Is it all, is it all right? Um, do I have to mute you? Cause I, you're on my speaker. So. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, are you on your phone right now? No, this is computer, but it's on. Oh, nope. On nope. You're good. You're totally okay. good. So you can just call on speaker and I should be able to hear you. One thing I want you to do this morning as you're calling through, I know you're logging into Mojo right now. Anytime we get a voicemail. All right. I do want you to leave a voicemail. And I also want you to note any phone number that is the right number. So if you're calling Bob Smith and says, hey, you've reached Bob's cell phone. I'm not here right now. Mark that down because we're going to text them right after the first call block. Okay. I'm going to use expired 1.0. Perfect. It's dialing. Perfect. Let it do its thing. And there hasn't been much here expired wise yeah. or fisbo yeah so i mean between combined fisbo and expired probably between zero and four a day so yeah that's perfect that's a good number just so you know that's 100 120 a month so of your prospecting 80 percent should come from circle prospecting old expireds and absentees oh. Hey, this is Brian. I'm a local realtor. Just calling about your property off of 234th. And I noticed it came off the market this morning. I was just curious. Did you end up accepting an offer on that? I'd be curious all you want to. How dare you call me in my private home in the morning? You could go to hell. Okay. All right. Well, hey, Kathy, you have a good day. Oh, that's how it's been. <laughs> yeah, that's good. So, so like when, when they do that, like you have to like meet them where they're at. Right. So like, what I mean by that is Kathy, I'm so sorry. You know, the last thing I want to do is call and offend you. I just saw this really nice home that came off the market and I wanted to just literally reach out to see if there's anything I can do to help. And so I, I apologize if I've upset you. That is the last thing that I wanted to do. That is how you have to respond to that. Okay. Uh, um, because a lot of those are opportunities, right? Mm -hmm. And so you have to show some empathy and you're, you're naturally monotone. And so I'm learning this right now. I don't know if it's because you're in a bad headspace right now, but like, I would bring a little bit more like you just maybe enthusiasm or d tonality in the delivery. Um, so I know it's dialing. So let's keep, let's get some more context in. I found myself using 2.0. 
in the last week, week and a half, I switched to one point now and follow the plan. Good. And the other thing, just from a mindset, I know you're dialing. So we'll talk, we'll talk a little bit more after you get a couple of contacts on your belt. All right. So the other thing, just pause it for one second. I think the other thing that's going to really help you is like the new call opening script, like the anti reactance script. And so like, it could come off a couple of different ways, but I'm thinking back to Kathy's call. Have you heard the new, the new script opener? Is it the, uh, I don't know well, if now's the right time. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Hey, you know, Brennan, I always, I always start that off like Brennan. Hey, this is Brennan. I'm a realtor. I'm not sure this call's appropriate right out of the gate, right? Right out of the gate, because you and I both know every phone call you've ever made and you ever will make, as soon as the person finds out it's a salesperson, there's immediate resistance. So yeah. we have to be the one to get in front of that. Hey, I'm not sure now's the right time. I'm not sure that this call is appropriate. And you're being more curious. So when I said enthusiasm, it's almost what I meant was like curiosity. I'm not sure this call is appropriate. You know, I got notified this morning that, that this property on XYZ Street had come off the market. Do I have that right? Right? It's very curious, not threatening, you know? So mm -hmm. that might be something for you to work on and consider as you move forward. Okay. Yeah, I haven't been using that. To be honest with you. Yeah. And you'll get to it. You'll totally get to it. Right now you're just learning, you know, you've been doing this for like five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so you need to do thousands of these contacts. Uh, you bring a name, a phone number, I'll call you back at my earliest convenience. Thank you. Tim Barnes. I know him personally. <laughs> really? Yeah. So make wow. sure make sure you mark that one because we're gonna text him after this call block. Yeah, that's a family friend. Oh, that's <laughs> hilarious. That might even be a message. Yeah, well, there you go. You just you just ran across even a better opportunity. Yeah, well, I hope it's still a family friend. One of those <laughs> things. <laughs> okay, all right. You mean send him a text right now? No, no, no. Let's keep calling. We'll, we'll text him later. One of the listings going live Friday. We got pictures today. Nice, dude. That's great. What was that? What that was a lead you got from the broker? Yeah. How they generate that? I say. Yeah, or it was called the office, and it was routed to me. I got lucky. So. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, you did get Hello? lucky. Hello. Hey, is this? Um, I'm looking for Edward. Okay, gotcha. All right. Well, hey, thanks for taking my phone call. Have a good one. You too. All right. Bye. I've got a question about that. Yeah, I'm going to help you right now. Okay. So when it's like, oh, crap, woman answers, man's name, I freeze, what do I do? It's yeah. automatically, hey, really quick, I'm calling about the property for sale on this street. Is this the owner? And it's got to be like, hey, really quick, I was calling about the house for sale on this street. Is this the owner? Okay. Okay. That's how you handle that. You you okay. may even you may even do that on all these expires because you got a bunch of data coming through, right? On Mojo, it's got this name and that name and 17 different numbers and all kinds yeah. of shit. Yeah. yeah. Just try that intro on the next contact. Just real quick. It's hey, real quick, I'm calling about the property for sale on this street. Is this the owner? As soon as they say yes, introduce yourself and then you can get into the script. So the way I look at that is about every 10 minutes of dialing it should be about one to two conversations. So sure. put things in perspective, right? So like a lot of agents are like, oh man, no one's picking up. Well, we're exactly where we need to be. Every 10, 10 minutes is a long time in making outbound dials. Yeah. Mojo's probably calling through 40 people in 10 minutes. Yeah, when I started out, I was texting everything. I just kind of fallen off of everything that I was doing. Yeah, life's gonna throw that at you, man. You know? Yeah. Hey, real quick, I'm looking for the property owner that had the house for sale off Rockwell Park. Um, uh, 
Oh, well, my name's Brennan. I'm a local realtor. I was just calling and uh, was wanting to explain why I was calling. Is, is that fair? Yeah, my name's Brennan. I'm the owner of this house. Okay, gotcha. All right. Yeah, I noticed that it came off the market this morning. I was just curious. Um, did you, you didn't accept an offer? Which offer? I don't accept any offer. How much? Oh, I... I'm I'm a realtor. I'm just I was just having some questions about that. Um, are you still considering offers on the property if it made sense? Yeah, but uh, nobody give me the offer any now. This time nobody give me the offer like the uh, nobody give the uh, offer because uh, I don't put in the market. Now I maybe uh, next two days I put in the market by this my house. So you're going back on the market in the next few days? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. How much? If you have any, like a buyer, bring it, no problem. I can sell it. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. At the appointment. Are you, at the appointment. Are you uh, interviewing realtors or are you, are you going back with uh, your same realtor? Uh, I don't want to ask more because uh, he's not a good realtor. I don't want to, again, um no i don't think i've had any phone calls from you okay but i don't want to don't ask realtor but i uh, uh i tell my myself oh you're going okay gotcha gotcha yeah that makes sense especially in this market but um what I'd like to do is just stop by one day this week and preview the home before getting to work. Would you be able to show me the home maybe this afternoon or uh, maybe tomorrow afternoon? Sir, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a trucker. I come like uh, today is my Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I can show you. Thursday? Okay. Yeah. How does yes. Thursday at 5 p.m.? Does that sound good? Okay, awesome. Well, what I'd like to do is send you over my agent information through email. What's the best email for you? Okay. What's what's the best email for you? Okay, Raj, I can. This is your phone number. This is your cell phone number. Yeah, yeah. I'll send you a text with my information, and then um, just to confirm. Okay, sounds good. Awesome. Oh, well, all right. Sounds good. I'll plan to stop by Thursday at five o'clock. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Bye. There you go. I cannot understand what he was saying. That was difficult. Yeah. So yeah, you probably don't have a lot of diversity in Oklahoma City, I would imagine. No, no. We have so that's every conversation here. I understood yeah. him perfectly. <laughs> really? Yeah, like perfectly, perfectly. I wanted to jump through the screen, grab the phone from you. That was like what we work for. That is exactly what we're looking for. The dude goes, I'm not happy with my agent. I didn't even hear that. Oh, that's why I was like, that's where I said, set the appointment, set the appointment. So here's a couple pieces of feedback. All right. This is going to be really, really important for you. This is that whole conversation is all that I needed to hear to make you a lot better on the phone. Number one, your pace is way too slow because when you do that, you're increasing their resistance. It's like, come on, what, what, what you, like I'm on the phone, like, come on, get it out. So mm -hmm. you have to match and mirror the person you're talking to. Your, I, like I get, I guess in Oklahoma is like that little, there's like a little Southern twang that I'm hearing. Is that right? That you guys have? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's, it's very chill. It's very laid back. Yeah. You know, and I was going to ask you some questions. You know, <laughs> like, it's got to speed up a little bit more. So like that guy says, Hey, you know, my last, I wasn't happy with my last agent. You immediately, you say, okay, cool. Well, why don't we do this? Assumptive language. So up the pace, assumptive language is what you need. That is how you get into appointment setting mode, right? So it's, why don't we do this? Obviously, we've never met before. You don't know me. I haven't seen the house yet. Why don't you have me over one day this week? I'll give you some feedback. And when I'm there, I'll share with you.
maybe some other ideas on what I could do to get it sold. I don't need you to agree to anything right now. I'm not asking you to commit to anything right now. All that I'm asking for is an opportunity to show you a different way to sell it. And then you can decide if maybe working with me moving forward would be an opportunity or not. Does that seem reasonable? Right? Like really coming across like that to, yeah. to being more enticing, being more compelling so that you can set higher quality appointments. Now you got that preview appointment. That's great. Go and have that face-to-face -face meeting. Now, you know, at least he's going FISBO because he didn't like his last agent. Mm -hmm. So at least you know how to handle that conversation when you get there. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So we got to just match the pace at which the prospect is speaking, not just what how Brennan wants to talk. Okay. Number two, then we have to, when there is an opportunity, remember the point of the call is to do what? Set the appointment. That is it. So when there's an opportunity arises, there's nothing in the playbook that says you have to keep going down the script, right? I, you can get into their motivation, like, okay, cool, had the home sold. What was the plan? Understand their motivation. If there's real motivation there, you just drop everything, you set the appointment. Less yeah, is uh, more on these calls. The more you talk, the more resistance you're going to get. Okay. What are we going to say? Uh, I don't even remember. That was. All right. We'll try to get one more good contact in. Yeah. So mark that. Don't do anything with that. You just keep calling. And then afterwards, you can shoot him a text. He said email. What he meant to say is he'll text it to you. Mm -hmm. He said he's going to text this number, but this is a mojo number. So. Oh. All right. So you could text that dude just to say, hey, Brennan, or this is Brennan. We just hung up. Here's my cell phone number. What's your best email? And I'll email you my information. Oh, what was what was that? A sigh of fuck. I don't want to do this anymore. Or a sigh of you just no. pain or what? <laughs> I've I have had some call reluctance the past week or so. Yeah, so that's when you have that, you just have to tell the other side of you. Okay, you don't want to call. Watch this. Now I'm going to make you pay the price. This is you talking to yourself. Like now we're just going to make calls all day. So don't ever tell me you don't want to make calls again. This is you talking to you. Like that's how you have to treat it. Cause there's this, like this, you, there's these two people on each shoulder, right? It's the yeah, drunk yeah. monkey. And then this one that wants to like get you to success and they keep fighting each other. I've never, never thought of it that way. That's what happens all day long. Punish yourself by making more. Correct. And then you'll never say that to yourself again. Yeah. So how do you feel about, you know, in the afternoon, if there's no appointments, how do you feel about door knocking instead of calling? Yeah, I think it makes a lot of sense in the afternoon to door knock. And you yeah. door knock specifically all the new expireds and for sale by owners that you did not get in touch with in the morning. That's exactly That's exactly how the afternoon schedule should go, right? So we spend the morning calling, the afternoon knocking if there's no appointments. Um, I know you're going through a bunch of stuff right now. I highly recommend that you distract yourself from that pain into what you're doing right now. And so you can get distracted by this pain because this pain at least leads to income that will directly yeah. impact the pain that you're dealing in your personal stuff. Um, but I would work on the opening, right? So just a little bit more, um, you got to, you got to end that with a question because those last two openers you're doing, what I asked you, but they're a little bit open-ended. So they have to be Hey, I was looking for the property owner at one, two, three. Is this him? Is this her? Okay. So, they, right. So, so they know when, when it's their time to talk, you leave it open-ended. They're like, do I talk now? Or are you going to keep talking? You know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, there has to be a question um, because when you say I'm looking for the property owner, that's a statement. So it's like, okay, cool. Did you find them yet? <laughs> you know, you open them yeah. up to object to you, you know? So that's one way to open it. And then when they say yes, then you can get into the new opener. Okay. Cool. Let's do this again. Let's do this again in a couple of weeks. I want to see where you're at with, with just your mindset, but let's, let's, uh, you got a lot expired today. Text every single person that you don't get a hold of this morning and see if you can make some contacts there and then go knock their doors this afternoon. If you don't get them on the phone this morning. Okay. Cool. All right. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, do you, do you want to schedule it now or do I, how do I, 
Yeah, yeah. I'll have Jen. I'll have Jen reach out to you and get get okay. you back on the calendar. Okay. Awesome. All right, brother. Well, good, Brandon. Smile, man. Smile. You can yeah. get through this. Keep rocking and rolling. All right. Yes, sir. We're all good. All right, brother. Talk to you soon, man. So, yeah. Have a good one. Good job. Bye.